Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead and obviously getting off to a damp start today as we have that big area of rain that we promised last night that is beginning to enter the Arplatex early this afternoon and it will continue to move across the region for the rest of today into and through most of the evening. As you can see the big upper level low which is now beginning to move into southwest Texas, it is going to continue to uh, slide its way towards the north and east and uh, you can see all the rainfall associated with it. This heavy rain that is moving into uh, the southern half of the Arklatex right now extends all the way to the Texas coast. So again, it's going to last for quite some time, producing quite a bit of additional rainfall. Uh, let's give you a look at, uh, first of all, the surface map here showing you the uh, area of low pressure at the surface as it is now making its way into Texas and it's going to continue to slide its way northward. Uh, as it uh, progresses its way north, of course, we will see the rain taper off uh, from south to north this evening. And then wraparound clouds will stay put for your Friday, Friday night, and actually could see the clouds linger through most of Saturday, and uh, with a wind out of the west to northwest, that means we're going to stay kind of chilly here for the next few days. Let's talk about uh, the main concerns with the rain that we have going on. We do have a flash flood watch uh, that is in effect for most of the Arklatex. Uh, it does now include much of northwest Louisiana, as we did see the heavy rain yesterday uh, in northwest Louisiana as uh, very well could be looking at another uh, one to over three inches of rainfall. Uh, radar already showing a couple of inches is probably already fallen uh, down around Toledo Bend and again all that rain is heading towards the north so flash flooding is probably going to be our biggest concern. Now as far as severe weather can't totally rule it out uh, but you can see that as we look at the outlook for today from the Storm Prediction Center they still have a slight to enhance risk for Sabine, parts of Sabine and Nac parishes but temperatures all across the Arklatex as I record this you can see we're still in the 40s in that particular part of the region and the cooler air is still or warmer air is still well to the south uh, so it's quite possible that we may see uh, the uh, threat for severe weather stay to the south of the Arklatex we will have to watch the extreme southern edge of the uh, area here in Sabine and Natchitoches parishes later on this afternoon, early this evening, there may be a small window of opportunity as far as a severe thunderstorm or two. But again, the main threat is going to be the heavy rain. So here's how it all plays out as we look at uh, Futurecast here, taking us through the afternoon. The rain continues to move uh, through the region. I think the rain should end by midnight for most of the region. If you do have some fireworks you want to set off, uh, again, it looks like most of the rain should be out of here the way it looks right now. Now. And then notice tomorrow we will stay cloudy. We'll see that westerly wind and uh, with the clouds around we'll be hard pressed to make it to 50 for a daytime high tomorrow. We will likely stay mostly cloudy across much if not most of the Arklatex uh, tomorrow night. And then Saturday we start off with lots of clouds. Might see the clouds break up some late Saturday afternoon. So we're looking at a couple of days of lots of clouds and because of that temperatures will stay rather chilly. This is what it looks like for a Friday. Tomorrow, New Year's Day, we will see temperatures temperatures. Uh, you can see lows for the most part in the 40s, lower 40s. Daytime highs will be in the 40s and low 50s. Only 50 for the high in Shreveport, 47 for the high temperature tomorrow in Texarkana as we are looking at a, a cloudy, chilly day. And that probably will repeat itself once again uh, for Saturday. Now longer range, we do have a couple more disturbances uh, which could affect us. Here's the disturbance which again is moving through now. Uh, second disturbance, this is the reason why we may stay cloudy here into Saturday. That pushes through. Then we'll see several days of sunshine with our next chance of rain right here with this disturbance come Wednesday. And this could bring us a chance for a few thunderstorms. And behind that, we have yet another disturbance right here, which could bring more rain towards the end of next week, say Friday. So all that being said, here's a look at your seven-day forecast. And it does show, again, the rain this afternoon, this evening, wrapping up. We'll see lots of clouds for Friday and Saturday, but temperatures will stay below normal, high and Shreveport both Friday and Saturday at uh, 50 degrees. With the return of some sunshine, we quickly return to the 60s starting Sunday, close to 70 by Tuesday. There is a good chance for the shower or thunderstorm as we look ahead to Wednesday. And again, more rain could be possible by next Friday as uh, most of next week looking rel relatively mild for this time of year with highs in the 60s.